heat continues to linger across the Sunshine State, but some relief is on the way. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. A ridge of high pressure continues to build itself over the Sunshine State. That's what's blocking out most of our moisture and keeping us nice and warm. But way off to the west, cold fronts incoming, but we do have to wait a couple more days for it to arrive into north central Florida. For this afternoon, our temperatures once again hitting near record highs. Reaching into those mid-90s, 93 about in Gainesville, down to Ocala and down towards the villages at 94 degrees. Factoring in our heat index values, we're going to be feeling a little bit warmer, though, into those mid even to the upper 90s. 94 in Jacksonville, staying pleasant, though, in St. Augustine at 87 degrees. Now we do have the chance, very, very small chance of some isolated showers moving through the region. We saw this yesterday feeding off of that heat inland. Most of those showers and thunderstorms should stay down to our south again, but we can't rule out maybe an isolated shower moving through Alachua and Marion counties. Again, most of that should stay down to the south and then off towards the first and the space coast. Evening and overnight, mostly sunny skies to enjoy throughout the rest of the afternoon and evening, becoming partly to mostly cloudy overnight. But notice these temperatures still staying in the 70s, even through the midnight hour. But let's get to this heat relief. We are certainly burning up with our temperatures way above average for this time of the year. By Thursday, that cold front finally making its way into north central Florida. This should be occurring overnight Wednesday and into Thursday. Just ahead of it, scattered showers and a few thunderstorms will be possible. On the back side of that cold front, here comes that cooler weather. But notice, though, on Thursday, by around the evening time, that cold front still lingering across north central Florida. So throughout the day Thursday, we have that chance of showers and thunderstorms, but it's all dependent on where that cold front lines up. If it's just to the south of us, less showers and cooler conditions. But if it's still to the north of us, we could be experiencing round after round of these scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms. But by Friday, for certain though, that cold front should be down towards the south and cooler temperatures working their way back in. As for your six day outlook, one more day of above average temperatures and here comes that cold front increasing our rain chances and by Friday temperatures finally lowering down into those low to mid 80s.